It's time to take 2018 AP Statistics free response. Number one, the manager of a grocery store selected a random sample of 11 customers to investigate the relationship between the number of customers in a checkout line and the time to finish checkout. So we are comparing these two, number of customers in the line and the time it takes to finish the checkout. So I'm guessing the more customers you have, the longer it's going to take. As soon as the selected customer entered the end of the checkout line, data were collected on the number of customers in line who are in front of the selected customer and the time in seconds until the selected customer was finished with the checkout. So if you go in to the checkout line and there is one person in front of you and it takes you around 240 seconds, that's how you're going to plot the point. Okay, let's read on. The data are shown in the following scatter plot along with the corresponding list squares regression line and the computer output. And we have this very nice graph and very nice table given to us. Let's go on to part A. Identify and interpret in context the estimate of the intercept for the list squares regression line. Well, identification part is pretty easy. You look at the constant and you just look at the value. So 72.95 is the estimate. 72.95. Make sure you don't put 174.40. That's estimating the coefficient of the customers in the line. And this is the slope of the regression line. That's the estimate of the slope. And the constant, this one, is the y-intercept. This is the y-intercept. In this case, you can think of it as being t-intercept, t for time. So make sure you distinguish between the two. So we know it's 72.95 seconds because y is in units of seconds. And we want to interpret this value in context. Well, what's the y-intercept? y-intercept, in our case, is the, where the graph is hitting the time axis when the number of customers is zero. When we have zero customers, we are hitting the intercept. So we want to write, we want to write, when there are zero customers, when there are zero customers, customers in line, when a new customer comes in, when a new customer enters the line, enters the line, the time it takes the time it takes to complete the checkout, to complete the checkout, checkout is, and you have to put something similar to on average. So checkout is on average because it's not going to be exact. It's an approximation. On average, 72.95 seconds. So that's the answer for part A. Let's go on to part B. Identify and interpret the context of the coefficient of determination R squared. And where is our coefficient of determination? Here it is. I believe for the AP statistics test, you are not using the adjusted coefficient of determination, just to use the regular one. So we know our R squared is 73.33% or 0.7333. And what's the meaning of this? Well, R squared is the, is the proportion of variation, proportion of variation in the Y, in dependent variable that can be explained, that can be explained, explained by the variation, by the variation in X or independent variable. So in our case, we know that 73.33% of the variation in time it takes, in time it takes to complete the checkout, complete the checkout, check out, it can be explained, can be explained, can be explained by the variation, by the variation in the number of customers in line by the number of customers in line when a new customer enters it. When a new customer, customer enters it. 
Yes, so that should be the answer to part B because dependent variable is the time it takes to complete it and the independent variable is the number of customers in line when you're entering it. So that's the answer to part B. Let's go on to part C. One of the data points was determined to be an outlier. Circle the point on the scatter plot and explain why this point is considered an outlier. So let's go up. So we want to find a point that's located farther away from the regression line compared to the other points. And it's pretty easy to see that that's this point at around 3100. So let's go back down. So we know this point is an outlier because the point, the point is located, is located significantly farther away, significantly farther away farther away from the regression line away from the regression line compared to the other points regression line compared to the other points and that concludes our first question